It's MSL T20 2.0, hoping their chakras are going to be shining bright tonight. It's the Cape Town Blitz up against the Nelson Mandela Bay Giants. It's heads is the call, and it's come down a tail. So it's a tail. So, Quinton, you said you didn't have a very good uh, toss record. You've won the toss. What are you going to do? I think we're going to have a bowl first yet tonight. So the Newsom Millers at the Blitz have won it, and they're going to have a bowl first. So we take a look at the Nelson Mandela Bay Giants uh, coming in to bat first. This Cape Town bits uh, side again, depth, they have relied heavily on their front order men, um, but they, they fancy having a bowl today. As we look at his uh, performances thus far, 114 matches, importantly the strike rate had grown about 130. Yeah, he's got a lot of promise, this kid is, um, he's come on leaps and bounds and interesting that Norwaz would take the new ball and considering the fact that they've got George Lindy in the team today. immediately off the mark and in style two four runs to open the Giants account oh got him oh Ooh. looks like it and he's hit it in the gap between mid wicket and mid on it's racing towards the boundary for four down the leg side and races towards the boundary oh really nicely played four runs to start over number five. Oh, that's a big hit from Ben Dunk outside edge full toss this is not a good start by Sisanda Magala. That brings up the 54, the Nelson Mandela Bay Giants. Does he get enough? He does. All the way into the construction area. For the first six of the match. His high score, Bretsky, 33, this year in the MSL. Gets it past. Howard passed extra cover, another boundary, so he'll become top scorer. Sliced away, another boundary, poor delivery from Magala. No, I'm fine. I, you know, if I really, this could be a wicket. No, or it could be six. No, that's six. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking good for Sunday, you know. Um, miss a game, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'll be okay by Sunday. Well, you've been a revelation to watch in this tournament, seeing you reinvent yourself as a T20 bowler has been nothing short of amazing. So thank you so much. Smash down the ground for six. Well, I just heard wickets, wickets, wickets. <laughs> oh, the way these two are batting. Not going to happen easily. Started in a very calm way and it's just taking off nicely. Whipped in the air. And uh, this will bring up a 50 for Matthew Brietzka. Two runs to get to his 50. His first in MSL T20 and fourth in his career. It's been a superb 50 from Brietzka. He's been the enforcer in this entire innings. He's played some lovely cricket shots. That's uh, in the air and it will fall short. 100 up for the Nelson Mandela Bay Giants in the 12th over. 100 coming in good time for the Giants. And they're going to need to push on from here with 10 wickets in hand. Smashed down the ground. And you're wondering when that big shot was coming. And that is it. It's the highest opening partnership of MSL 2.0. And it comes from the Giants. Once again, the blitz not using the surface, making it all too easy for the batsman. And this, any batter is just going to smash out the park anytime. Oh, this is smashed and it will sail over the dugout for back-to-back -back sixes from Ben Dunk. It takes him to 50, 52 from 38 balls. And it comes on the back of this massive over, 16 runs from the over. Carved away. Wow. That's smashed down the ground. 
dumb ball there for Ben Dunk. They're giving him room to swing his arms and he's really powerful down the ground and square of the wicket. And what a great catch. They know they have enough batting in the tank and that will be another boundary. So just freely playing their shots here at the moment. A total 136 without loss. That's right up in the air. The bowler calls for it. And the first wicket of the Nelson Mandela Bay Giants is down in the 14th over, courtesy Ayat Bamani. And he's got in the top edge. And he should have belted that through the mid-wicket region. He'll be really disappointed. Bamani making sure that nobody gets anywhere near that ball. Crunched away. Four runs. through that leg side again a boundary that man might also be a candidate doesn't get enough of it good catch this time around it looks like John John Smuts has walked yes yeah, we have a look and see that trying to get over the, the um, side screen and Full toss. Wahab Riaz takes a diving catch, and it's the end of Ben Dunk. And his team would have needed him to get to 100, but Sisanda Magala's bowled a terrific length here. Yorker, and that's an excellent catch by Wahab Riaz. Castled. Marco Maria had no chance. Bowled with an enormous amount of purpose and pace. There we go again. That's how hard it is. Complete grinding halt for the Giants. That is a superb delivery. He won't reverse. He'll try and hit it straight. Gets enough of it. Big six. Yeah, surprising. Magal has gone for that option. Brilliant execution by Heineken. This is the part of his game that's really stepped up a notch if you timed well is it well enough no caught big boundary that was and it's another wicket and he spelled as far oh, he couldn't at this stage of the game is trying to get everything he possibly can but hitting to the long boundary pushed down the ground Buren Hendricks doesn't want to happy with one Chris Morris isn't happy it's the end of the Giants innings 20 overs uh, gone, and they got to 173 for six. Score is on the board, that's what you want to say if you're a Giants fan. Remember, they were put into bad, fantastic opening partnership of 136 between Bretsky and Dunk. Very impressed by all the seamers that bowled today. Wahab was the one who ended up with the three wickets, but Norkia set the tone, was brilliant. Yanaman Milan has been unseated as the leading run scorer of uh, MSL 2.0, but a great opportunity here to come good. Evening Amir, and is set for a cracker. Straight down the ground, and that will clear the boundary. No, it won't, but it's still a good hit for four. Very pleasant. Wow! That is massive towards the screen and it sailed into the crowd for six. The timing once again personified. Look at that. Crunched away, pass points, and they're all raced to the boundary for four. Vintage Quinton de Kock. Oh, wow. Wow, what a shot from Milan. He's just seeing the ball so well tonight. Hold on to your seat, folks. It's the Milan show here, and it's caught in the dugout. But with such control, it's something special. Moved away from the leg stump enough to be able to slice the ball over point. Carved away through the covers for four. Cries of catch it, but they'll just watch that race to the boundary for four. Wow, 
he frees his arms once again and it's over the boundary for six. Everything right out of the middle of the bat. And you're dealing in sixes. Straight down the ground, best place to hit it and again he clears the rope. Milan's on fire and soon he'll be leading the run scoring again. And again. This goes all the way. Listen to the home crowd. Well, he's gone for the biggest side. I said that was about 85 and doesn't get it. It was a dangerous shot. He tried to take it on. And it's a good catch again for Heino Kuhn and a much needed wicket. He's picked the longest part of this boundary to try and hit that slog sweep. And he would have thought he had enough. To the deepest pocket in the, in the long... Deep and wicked boundary and a safe pair of hands once again behind Akun and there he goes. He's now even got to Bray Shams in following suit. In the air. I think he's got enough of it. He has. 50 for Yanaman Milan. He's sixth career 50 and he's fifth in MSL. It's the end of the ninth over. 104 for one. Over the wicket. Looks like it's going to be the second wicket. Is. This is a very good catch by Heineken. Hitting to the big boundary. Once again, David Bettingham. He needed to make sure he gets all of it. What a wicket. And Imran Tahir has struck. He's on his victory lap and why not? It's the partnership you wanted to break. And right now, the Giants are back in it. You cannot keep him out of the game. Wondering at what stage you know, that googly comes. Perfect length. And he's done him through the gate. Oh, this is going to be trouble. Hey! They're going to go upstairs. Oh, these Giants guys are excited about this. They feel they're right in. And why, are, why wouldn't they be? He's gone and you... out. So I'm sure we still haven't had a boundary since the ninth over. And that's where, that's why they are picking up wickets. Good effort <laughs> by the tall fast bowler to gather that one and then. He might not be deep enough for this though. Should be out. Terrible shot and is out. The Giants are turning this around. to learn how to score singles and once again and then he's back in the side here there we go that's what he does may have gone for a few runs but at the critical time again the giant strike and here was Bjorn Hendrick's opportunity to redeem himself and he has done that that's what you practice for as a bowler all those sessions of doing the in the air it's a chance a difficult chance taken ryan tenders carter with a big big wicket big catch I don't know what it is. Right. yeah he's not convinced that it was taken cleanly opinion that's fine run that on that's absolutely fine here we go here are is the catch Absolutely brilliant. Pressure, that went so high as well. That is so difficult in a dark sky. Pressure on. Out. Full and straight. And it's the end of Magala. Uh, it was a very well bowled slow delivery from Experience Morris. It was well directed. Shot boundary always a sarcastic cheer isn't it because this is what he is capable of doing but the worst ball to a ball but that margin for error against him is so small and he's a good striker of the ball six finishes with a six but what a performance by John John Smuts and his giant side
They were squeezed to 173 for six, in trouble after the power aid power play, and then hit back, and they eventually win by 11 runs. As we look at that batting card, brilliant start by Bologna Dukak. They uh, showed some real put to put the team under pressure, but after that, there was nothing really to follow up that start, and they'll be disappointed that they allowed themselves. Jurin Hendricks with 48, but a crucial wicket. Andre Berger, who started off expensively, again a wicket. Yanaman Milan with his 60, 162 for eight off there at 20 overs. That means that the Nelson Mandela Bay Giants win by 11 runs.